If you own an old computer that unable to meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11 or has limited RAM and storage space, then today I'm going to show you a method how to install Windows 11 on low-end system. Tiny 11 is a lightweight version of Windows 11 that is optimized for low resource systems. In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process to download, create a bootable USB and install Tiny 11 on your PC. First, we need the Tiny11 ISO file. To download it, visit the official Internet Archive link from NTDEV, the creator of Tiny11. NTDEV has built a solid reputation for creating optimized versions of Windows, and Tiny11 is no exception. Once you're on the page, look for the latest Tiny11 release, which is based on Windows 1122H2. Compared to standard Windows 11, Tiny 11 strips away unnecessary bloatware and background processes while retaining all the essential features you need. To download the ISO, click the arrow next to the ISO image and choose the 22H2 Beta 2 No System Requirement file. This version is optimized and doesn't require TPM, Secure Boot or other hardware restrictions. Downloading will start and ISO file size is 3.6 GB so it will take some time to finish. Once you've downloaded the Tiny11 ISO file, the next step is to create a bootable USB drive. For this, we'll use a handy tool called Rufus. Download Rufus from its official website and run Rufus on your computer. Open Rufus and in the device drop down menu, select your USB drive. Next, click the select button and navigate to the location where you save the Tiny11 ISO file. Set partition scheme, GPT or MBR depending on your BIO setting. Then finally, press the start button to begin creating the bootable USB drive. This process usually takes a few minutes depending on the speed of your computer and USB drive. Once completed, you will have a bootable USB drive ready to install Tiny11 on your PC. With your bootable USB drive prepared, it's time to install Tiny11. Restart your computer. After restart, press the appropriate key to enter the boot menu. This key varies depending on your computer's manufacturer. Common keys include F12, F10 or Escape. In the boot menu, select your USB drive to boot from it. You'll now enter the Windows setup screen. In Windows setup screen, choose the appropriate language and click Next. Select Terms and Condition and click Next to proceed. On the partition screen, choose the drive where you want to install Tiny11. We only have one drive, so create the new partition for the installation. Select the primary drive for Windows installation and click Next. The installation will take some time, but once it's done, you'll be greeted with the lightweight and efficient version of Windows 11. Proceed with the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process. Once you've successfully booted into Tiny11, you'll immediately notice the difference. The CPU and RAM usage is significantly lower compared to standard Windows 11, making it ideal for older or low-resource PCs. The developer has streamlined Tiny11 by removing unnecessary apps and features like Microsoft Teams, Xbox, and even Microsoft Edge. However, you can still download any of these apps from the Microsoft Store if needed. Tiny11 includes essential tools like Notepad, Paint, and Calculator, ensuring you have what you need without unnecessary clutter. Despite its lightweight nature, it retains most of the security features found in standard Windows 11, including Microsoft Defender Antivirus, Core Isolation, and Data Encryption. 
Tiny 11 offers a fantastic opportunity to breathe new life into older PCs, providing a fast, efficient and secure operating system without the heavy resource demands of standard Windows 11. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.